much for that greeting. And thank you all for coming. You have no idea how much this means to us to have this distinguished group of people come to our little symposium. <laughs> um, thank you, Gary, very much for that kind introduction. I would like to add that to everything you said of me could be said of Lloyd Morissette, who had the brilliant idea in the first place to use television to teach preschool children and was good enough to ask me to join with him in seeing if we could bring it off. So thank you, Lloyd. I'd like to congratulate everyone at the center and the, and the workshop in particular, Mike, particularly Michael Levine, who we're so lucky to have as the head of the center, for the, their most impressive efforts to convene this symposium. The issues we'll consider today are especially critical, not only to families and children, but to our, to our overall well-being as a society. Forty years ago, yes, 40 years ago, we opened the doors of the Children's Television Workshop, now called Sesame Workshop. And some of those pioneers that were with Lloyd and me in those early days are here today. Sam Gibbons, Sam, raise your hand. <laughs> Sam, Sam was one of three producers who created Sesame Street. Many people have gotten credit for creating Sesame Street, I'm telling you. Every time there's an obituary, and alas, we've had way too many, it will say creator of Sesame Street died. And I thought, God, when I go and they say creator of Sesame Street dies, everyone's going to say, I thought he died 25 or 30 years ago. So Sam, Ray Seifert, is he here? Sorry, he was uh, one of our writers and was going to come. Chris Cerf was the, Chris, will you raise your hand? <laughs> Chris was our true pioneer in, in uh, starting our book division and our other uh, uh, products. And, and he's the only person, I think, certainly in this room and maybe anywhere in the it behind the scenes for it to, that a Muppet was named for. There is a Chris Surf, Surf Muppet. He comes on and plays the piano quite a bit and sings, and it is Chris singing, and who has written the songs he is singing. He continues to this day. He's a, been a marvelous creator, creative force at the workshop, and done many other things besides. We wanted 40 years ago to examine whether TV could actually be of value to young children. Newt Minow had so famously called television a vast wasteland, and we were determined to demonstrate that it could be a powerful tool for learning. Sesame Street, Captain Kangaroo, and Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood were the only programs on the air aimed at preschoolers at the time. Today, there are over 50 preschool programs that are geared towards educating and entertaining the youngest children in the United States and thousands of broadcast programs around the world that were inspired by the Sesame model. Some are based on research, and a handful have proven that they can really move the needle in helping children, especially unders un underserved children, become more competent, caring, and culturally attuned. But now school-aged school children are facing a new vast wasteland in their digital offerings. We realize that digital media are transforming children's lives in new and important ways, as all of you who teach children or produce materials for children or who have children or grandchildren. Uh, all of us, if, uh, I keep saying we really need a 10-year-old assistant with us at all times if we want to. <laughs> to understand what's going on, because they can tell you very fast. Uh, I cannot keep up with it. Uh, did the, however, both commercial and public broadcast producers have yet to catch up with the generation's rapidly changing needs and capabilities. In a world where video games, virtual <coughs> worlds, electronic toys are ubiquitous, shouldn't we expect that some of them will meet children's educational needs? Just as when my colleagues and I started the workshop, 
This center will delve into forging a new direction for children's media. With the right partners, with the right vision and resources, we will find new ways to innovate, engage, and educate. If Sesame Street has proven anything, it is that informal education can create measurable social impact of enduring value. I'm hopeful that a new vision for digital media will take shape through collaboration across the sectors that are represented here today. Collaboration has always been a key to affecting meaningful change. The center has already begun to work to unite us in the effort. Perhaps our discussions today will open up new opportunities and seed new partnerships. No matter how media continue to evolve, the most important issue for the center and the field comes back to one key question that hasn't changed. How can we use emerging media to help children learn? It's my fond hope that the center will make an important and lasting contribution to answering this question in the years ahead. I'm delighted to be here and delighted that you're here for what we all hope will be the start of something big. Thank you very much. <laughs>